Hey there, gang. Oh, I got a stain on my shirt. Anyways, so a lot's been going on with this whole, and I'm in my car, but I'm parked. As you can see, this car will be behind me for a while. A lot's been going on with this race or topic of race. Uh, Jesse Williams, actor, uh, Grey's Anatomy, made a speech during his acceptance of the Humanitarian Award, BET. And I gotta admit, when I first heard it, I was like, wow, this guy, I was kind of vibing it. And then I looked into it a bit more and was looking at the words and I was also, I couldn't help but think that this dude's very angry. And that makes me sad that he's angry. How you doing, Tommy? Um, anyways, so here's my thoughts on race in general in the United States. Uh, I think it's easy for people to use the word racism. I think it's easy for people to call someone a bigot. Uh, Bill, how you doing? Valentine, France, how we doing? Um, I think it's easy to use the words racism, call someone a bigot, call someone a name for, I don't know, not agreeing with you or whatever it may be. But I think the claims of America being, the United States being systematically designed to oppress and keep certain people down, I'm not buying it. Do we have problems? Sure. Are there people who don't like black people? Yes. Are there black people who don't like white people? Yes. Uh, but is it a designed system? I mean, are we that? I mean, even if you want to go as so far as to say that the people who wrote the Constitution were racist, even they weren't smart enough to take out the line all men are created equal, right? So, and that's if you think they're racist. They still couldn't even help themselves but say all men are created equal. So I don't know that this country is was systematically designed to keep certain people down. I do think humans, at times, like to keep certain people down. I don't know whether, whether it be race or power or whatever, or just them, that's their way of thinking they can keep themselves up. But I am so tired of this discussion about race. Joey, Jeremy, thanks for joining in. And I say that because I am of mixed race. And I say that because uh, my mom and dad did not start out rich. And my wife's parents moved here from another country. So hi, Mafuana, you made it on. So if this country is systematically designed to keep a person or people of covered color down or oppressed, then how on earth do we have a black president? How on earth did my parents make it? How on earth did my wife's family move here from another country and provide a situation to where my wife can go to school and go to college and get a master's degree and provide a living. How am I living in Carlsbad, California? How, I, I just, I'm tired of the race thing and I'm tired of it. It's just so easy to call someone a name nowadays, a bigot, a racist, uh, you know, you're culturally appropriating me and it's just like so old and it's irresponsible. What's up, Dale Holmes? Uh, <laughs> Brandon, how you doing? So, and I'll take it even further, because I remember the Donald Sterling thing, the owner of the of the Clippers, and how um, he was saying racist things privately. And then I thought to myself, man, that dude, it sounds like he he's not a big fan of, of black folk. Okay, that's fine. But then I thought to myself, what if he was racist? If, right? I wouldn't want anyone to have, I don't want anyone to have that much hatred in their heart towards anybody just because of the color of their skin or the religion. I really don't. However, let's say a man like Donald Sterling is racist or a man like Donald Trump is racist. Donald Sterling was still hiring the people who could get the job done. So in theory, in theory, 
even a racist person learned to get past his own racism to hire the right people for the job. Because at the time, the Clippers were one of the winningest teams in the NBA um, when all that stuff was going on. So I don't know if we can control people's thoughts. And I'm in the thought business. I'm a psychologist. I think we can teach people to control their own thoughts as best they can, build beliefs. However, I don't want that necessarily legislated. And as far as this Jesse Williams thing and the BET thing, I'll, I'll leave you with this. It's like, this dude's getting a humanitarian award. I don't know what kind of work he's done. I, I, I know there's love in his heart for the oppressed and for black people and for people. I, I, I believe he believes what he's saying and I believe he wants to do a good thing. I just don't necessarily agree. But I do find it ironic that, you know, because he said something about if you watch TV and you live in this country, you end up racist. It's like, well, dude, keep in mind, you're at the BET Awards, which is on national cable television, one. Two is you're in a room full of black folk who, if they're not millionaires, they're probably making hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars and or generating hundreds of millions of dollars for sponsors, for themselves, or for other people, or for you. Because you're on Grey's Anatomy, which last I checked was on like ABC. So pretty good show to be on. So if this country is systematically designed to keep you down how did you do it bro why don't you share that and I know you're mixed Mr. Jesse Williams half white and half black could it be that you yourself are somehow apologizing for your whiteness I don't know but the point is dude you've made it so rather than getting on everyone's case for how bad it is, and it can be bad. I'm not justifying people shooting people. I'm not justifying the atrocities that have happened. But if rather than getting on people for being this country, for being oppressive or getting on this system or whatever you want to call it for being, you know, rigged, why don't you tell people how you got through that system? Why don't you tell people how you did it? Because that seems to be more important and more uplifting than just calling people out and calling people names. Maybe that's part of your humanitarian bit, why you won the award. I really don't know your work. Hey, George. Hey, Moses. Leela, how you doing? Steve, Gray. But that's, that's my take, Mr. Jesse Williams. I think, I think you're wrong. And you, know, you don't know me. I don't know you. You probably won't even see this, but... I'm just, I'm not buying it. I still have hope for this country because I live in this country. I'm watching my kids play soccer right now. Black dude, white neighborhood, some other brown kids, some Asian kids on a green field, blue sky. You know, parents say hi, we smile. We're making it happen. And while there are some cops out there who see black folks and think thug, and I believe they are very few because I have very good friends who are in the police force. Uh, while there are that, I think you could also be using some of that energy to Mr. Jesse Williams to talk about some of the crimes that we commit amongst ourselves. Right? Because to me, I think there's a self-respect thing going on too. And if you want to talk about privileged and privileged people have an advantage, I'm privileged. I was born maybe fast so I could pedal my bike. I was born with the gift of gab. You were born an amazing actor, good looking guy. That's all privilege. So I think it's okay to take advantage of your privilege and use that for some good, but Let's not be mistaken and say that this country was systematically designed to keep certain people down. Because to me, that's just poverty of thought. And I don't care how rich or famous or whatever it is you do that anyone does. If we're thinking that, if you're thinking that you're that powerless, that no matter what system you're in, that you have no power, 
then just get then you get out of the system like I, I don't know how you can win but maybe that's where you get your power from is by being angry and calling people out so that's where I'm at and I'm happy to talk with anybody about this in public on film on radio on a podcast let's go I'm tired of it black people we have won okay is it great I don't know but I'm looking at this soccer field and my mixed race son with my mixed race ass amongst a brother amongst amongst other children white black Asian Latino all of the above that you know we're doing all right and you're right George it might not be an accident that every inner city looks the same it might not but I think a lot of it begins with thought and I don't I don't think it's it's designed and here's another thing that I'll add to that which which maybe take it a step further and probably a different topic because I respect the president I get it I think he's got game I don't necessarily agree with everything but if he was the guy to bring us all together why has this race thing not gotten better how about that or better yet why doesn't he tell people how he transcended how he got to where he got because I, I hear you I'm not saying there's no problems but I'm not other than name calling and pointing fingers and we got to legislate this group and it's the rich people versus the poor and the black people versus the white people because in my neighborhood I just don't see that I'm not saying it doesn't exist I've been to the south I've been to rough spots I I mean in, as a psychologist I, it's not like I got my hours working for the San Diego Chargers I got my hours working at San Diego Center for Children I got my hours at the Indian Reservation I, in case I, I, I have been pulled over in my neighborhood but I also didn't act a fool right and I changed some minds if nothing else I changed some hearts I was like oh wow he's not what we might have thought he was I was wrong so anyways that's all I got um, little bit of a sad state of affairs. I want to keep it positive. America, I still have faith. I really do. Even though we have some, some craziness going on politically and socially, at least as the media portrays it or would like to portray it. But I, I think we're doing all right. So to the BET award, Jesse Williams, I just find it ironic that you're sitting in a room full of minority millionaires talking about how oppressed we all are that's all that's all I'm out I love you guys I really do um, and yeah that's it let's have a conversation about it let's keep it going peace